Hello and welcome to Active Reach technical tutorial videos. Today we are looking at Sonic Wall and we are going to see how to restrict management access to the WAN interface by um, an IP address or a range or a group of IP addresses. So if you want to open up your Sonic Wall for management access so you can manage it remotely over the web you may require that you restrict the source IP addresses that can access the interface of the Sonic Call so that it's not open to absolutely everybody. So this is um, a Sonic Call NSA 220 with the enhanced OS and it's currently at factory default settings. So the first thing you need to do is you need to apply the IP address to the WAN interface otherwise the um, management rules don't get created properly. So to do that you simply go into the settings for the interface type the IP address for the WAN and the subnet mask and then click OK and that interface now has an IP address. Now you might think that you need to go into the access rules and it's easier if you go to matrix you might see that when you come to this page it will be on all rules but it's easier if you go to matrix and then we are looking at WAN to WAN because we're going to be administrating from the WAN to the WAN so we're looking at WAN to WAN rules in here that by default there's nothing in there and you might think that you can add HTTPS management from here but what you'll see is when you try and do that is you'll get a warning and it'll tell you that you have to use the checkboxes in interface configuration. So you go back to interface configuration, click at the edit button and in here you enable the HTTPS management from here. You can enable HTTP and things like that. And we're just going to untick this as well just to make it simpler. We're just allowing HTTPS and nothing else. Just so that this tutorial is kept simple. And then you click OK. And when you do that what you'll find has happened is a rule has now been added automatically to the WAN to WAN rules like this. So I suppose you could have created that manually if the system let you, but for some reason it's been designed so that you have to do it that way. So there's the rule there, and what you're seeing here is that it's allowing source any to, to, to go to the HTTPS management service on the WAN port. And what we want to do is restrict this source any and to tie it down to uh, a group of IP addresses or an IP address. So to do that we first need to add the address objects so we go to firewall address objects and then we're going to add a new object the new object will be on the WAN zone because we'll be coming from an external source and we're just going to add a single host let's just assume it's 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2. so I'm just going to call it 2.2.2.2 host you can call it whatever you want. Okay, and that will now be added into the address objects. If we just uh, put a tick in custom address objects just so we can see the one that we created rather than all the default entries. And we'll also add um, a range as well, just, just, just for the sake of a good thorough tutorial. We're going to add a subnet of 3.3.3.0. We'll just call that network. Again, WAN zone. And we're going to say it's a network. The network is 3.3.3.0. 255, And we're going to add that. Okay, and there's that. And then we're going to add a group. We're going to add the 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 host to network. 
and we're going to call this management group and we're going to click OK so we now have management group which contains those two new address objects and then if we go back to access rules WAN to WAN we are now going to restrict it to that new group so we just click edit and we're going to change the source to management group which is the new group that we've created and we're going to click OK there we go we have now allowed HTTPS and management to the WAN interface from these WAN sources thank you very much for watching